Hertzl Fan TV. I spoke to you the other day and you was really optimistic. Yeah. After that, how can we be optimistic? I mean, that was, is it just a blip? Or is that Arsenal summed up? That in a, put in a great performance, everybody's up for it against Man City, come away to Southampton, complacent and get smashed. I don't think it could have possibly gone any worse. You know, they won every single battle, every single, you know, tackle, every single second ball. Just overall, it was just a gutless, spineless display. And I'd be reluctant to anomalise this result. These four nils and five ones and six nils have happened way too often for us to win the league. You know, yeah, I was confident on Monday night. I was singing uh, Flamini's praises, but, you know, it's been said before, all that hard work on Monday and all the buzz, you know, around the Emirates since then, it's all gone out the window, isn't it? You know, mm. it's no good beating Man City and they're coming here. And, you know, they might not be having the best season, but we should have come here and beat them. And, you know, I've just been speaking to this lad here. You know, they were there for the taking today. They haven't even been playing well, they have they? Haven't. They haven't no, been they playing haven't. well. You know, uh, Tottenham stuff. them. Lots of people have been coming here and getting results. Yeah. And we come here and it, it's like we're playing Barcelona. It's very disappointing. You know, I, I'm finding it hard to put, you know, words into my mouth because it's the second year in a row this has happened. Mm. You'd think we'd learn from it from last well, year. This is worse. I, exactly. Mm. Um, you know, well, what can you say? The only Do you see a team there capable of winning the league? I mean, obviously, you can't just judge it off of, of, off of one performance. But are you looking at it and thinking, you know what? There's enough in this team to go all the way this yeah. season. Because I mean, there's going to be a lot more. I saw Stoke playing today against um, Man United. we got them coming up away. That's going to be tough. We've got Man United things. away. We've yeah. got Man City away. We've got Liverpool away. It's going to be a lot of hard away days. Exactly. We can't keep putting in performance like these. I think two things need to change fundamentally. Number one, the mentality. I think it's been touched on before. You know, the, the desire has to be there. You know, yeah, the desire was there on Monday night, but it wasn't anywhere, you know, on the pitch today. And mm. I think if you look at every single player, they just went up for it today, just not at all. And, um, you know, every single Southampton player had the number over him. Um, and secondly, you know, I think we might have to dip into the transfer, uh, transfer market. Um, like I was just about to say, the only positive I can take from this is... You know, had this result not gone down, I don't think Wenger possibly wouldn't have signed anyone. You know, he's you know reluctant in that sense. Um, so I think this might force him to to dip into it, get in, get that defensive midfielder. Because you were talking about Wanyama earlier. Wanyama bossed this game. You know, we were missing his, his type of player, um, someone because you know someone to sit alongside Cochrane when we go to these big away games like United and City that you mentioned. We can't always go for the flair option. We can't always play Cazorla or Ramsey in there. Mm. And, you know, another thing that I'd like to mention, our attacking players today, no creativity. Mm. We lack chance. You know, we created almost nothing. And Stecklenberg isn't the best keeper in the world. You know, and everything went to him. Whatever we could muster went to him. Mm. Uh, you know, they credit to them. They thoroughly deserve their 4-0 win. You know, it's... Mm. I've got, I've got nothing to say. 90 minutes does not should not be the thing that changes your mind about a manager or a or a whole year's worth of effort that you're going to put in, whether you can be title contenders or not. Yeah, but you've seen these before many I, times. I That's have, why. But listen, there's plenty of teams that put in amazing performances, have wonderful victories, and get relegated. So why can't we have the reverse, where there's a team that puts in one really, really, really poor performance and then goes and wins the league?